sex, swords, and dragons. A $200 million budget, 10 million viewers a week, season one of HBO's House of the Dragon was, in a word, fire. But obsessed fans going through withdrawal have no fear. Lord Corliss, AKA the Sea Snake, brings news from Westeros. This is gonna be huge. Big convention with not just House of the Dragon, but Game of Thrones. Have you met anybody yet from the Game of Thrones cast? No, as yet I've not met them, so I'm looking forward to oh, that. Oh, wow. It's the first official Game of Thrones fan convention running from December 9th to 11th, and Steve Toussaint is just one of the scheduled favorites. The king has an heir, Daemon Targaryen. Are you guys gonna be dressed up? Like, how's this gonna go? Like, are you, are you gonna be dressed up in, <laughs> in character? No one's told me that, so I think <laughs> I'll leave that to the lovely fans, because I, I've some of them have been sending photos of, of, photos of themselves dressed as me, so oh I'm just like, oh my God, that's so, I'm so honored. But he's more excited to meet the Game of Throners. We need every man we can get. Obviously, everybody wants to meet uh, Kit. Everyone wants, wants to meet Jon Snow. Snow. And also Alfie, because I, I, I'd i love to talk to him about the stuff that his character went through. From dragons, Patty Considine, who plays King Viserys. I have decided to name a new heir. And Matthew Needham as Lyra Strong will grace the arena. I can't wait to see Paddy and Matt again, because I haven't seen both of them since the London premiere. The fans who come to these events, they are the real ones. I mean, is it is it fun whenever you get the chance to, to meet with them? Oh God, absolutely, because you know, on on one level, of course, it is, the show is, is a success because of them, because we were lucky enough to put something out that they liked and they supported it and they delve very deeply into it and they come up with theories and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's great, I, but I think sometimes it's a bit daunting because they, they know more about it than we do. Fans can check out the world of Westeros, a full-scale dragon head and grill the stars for secrets like this. So let's talk about the end of season one, shall we? Clearly okay. teasing there's going to be an all-out war. To be honest, at this stage, that's about as much as I can tell you, uh, is that they are teasing an all-out <laughs> war. Because basically, I haven't actually seen any scripts yet. I've been told some good stuff's gonna happen. It's gonna be okay. incredible. Wow. In this season, can you tell me at all where your character stands in this upcoming season? I think pretty much as is uh, um, indicated at the end of this last season is the yeah. fact that he decided um, that whatever I may think about Rhaenyra personally, um, she is the rightful heir to the throne. Uh -huh. The land grab that the High Towers have done is treacherous and they need to be made to pay for that. Plus also the fact is, my grandson has been killed. You know, even though we know he's right. not my grandson, right. but he's my grandson. Right, yes, yes, So, uh, You know, Ugh. so I think that's kind of where he's at. He's, you know, that has to be uh, paid for. What is the to. most common question that you get from fans? Other than, is that your hair? Um, <laughs> actually, well, they ask me constantly if myself and Eve are in a relationship. Oh! oh. Yeah, that's see the authenticity that, like that. That just goes to show you that you're good at what you I do. Guess. Yeah, I have to take that as a compliment. The show has become like it has been. It is a behemoth. How has your life changed, though? Not that much. I mean, only in very small ways. Um, I'm having a lot more interesting meetings okay. now. Um, <laughs> um, but other than that, it's been fine. I mean, I think. Um, I, I was at a function last night and I was with, uh, I bumped into Millie and Fabian last night and we were swapping notes and yeah. one of the things about having been involved in this thing is, for me, the wig and the beard renders me almost unrecognizable. I was going to say, do people recognize you without that? Very rarely, very rarely. I think... Wow. Um, uh, I, I had one person, I was on my way to the theater and one person stopped on the train and was like, call us. Um, and, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, one person, I think last night at this, at this function, uh, sort of was like, you, you, you're, you're Pim, you are. <laughs> Prepare to be wowed. Convention tickets are available online now. We have more details at extratv.com.